Wow. All right, that's probably, uh, probably enough for today. Okay, so I'm finally doing my gaming setup slash room tour. I recorded this earlier, but I think it's because I recorded at 4K. Like when I tried transferring it to my computer, it just didn't work. So now I have to re-record the whole thing. Yay. So I'm going to be showing my setup, obviously, but I'm also talking about the rest of my room. So if you want to like skip straight to this, then I'll put a timestamp on the screen right now. Um, but Starting off with the bed. I slept on like a full size bed for probably 10 years. It was a futon couch that we had um, in my family and we we're just getting rid of it. And I had a twin bed at the time and I just said, oh, can I, can I use it? And so I ended up using that bed for the next like 10 years. And then around two months ago, I got this bed, which is a queen size bed. And um, it is on these little plastic riser things. And um, the main reason I actually use them is because one of them has a power outlet on it and there's a there's an outlet down there but it's really inconvenient to plug my phone in so i just plug my phone in on the uh, on the riser and then over here is just a ton of random junk uh, this is my old computer that i'm going to be selling very soon that box i think has like a 6700k and a motherboard in it and then the one on the bottom are uh, is black curtains so when i used to stream i used to have my desk like here and it was facing the wall right so like where that chair is right now, that redacted ass chair that I will not mention because I'm now sponsored by Max Nami. So I'll be getting a chair from them very soon. That one, it, it broke, didn't work very well. And every single time I use it, my back feels like it's gonna fall apart. So, you know, I have to cover it. But it, like the, the chair was essentially like that. So desk here looking outward. So I had like these acoustic foam panels on the wall cause I liked the black background. So when I first moved my desk over here, I thought if I'm gonna be streaming, camera angle goes this way. I just get black curtains and it'd be like the same thing. And then I had two water bottles. Um, you know, coronavirus gets a little too aggressive. I have my two water bottles will be set for a long time. And then I have this uh, G Pro wireless, which is, wow, it's so easy to unbox that with one hand. It's the white one, but I don't use that one. I use the pink one right now. Um, so I'm just, this one I'm, I got on hand, I'm saving it for when the other one gets all crusty and old. So moving on to the setup itself, which is probably the main thing that everyone wants to see. Uh, the, the number one most important part is by far my Evolve PC streaming and editing PC. I spend a lot less time actually playing and a lot more time just editing these days. And I edit all my videos on this computer. I'll put the specs on the screen right now or on your screen right now. Um, and it's, it, you know, it's, it's worked perfect for me and, you know, I highly appreciate them building it for me. And you can actually, uh, the, the, the case is a 680X from Corsair. Um, you can actually just open it right up. And then I have, I think it's a 1650. I think it's 1650 GPU. Cause it's just a streaming and editing PC. And then it has a Elgato 4k 60 capture card and a HD 60 capture card. Um, I think it's only 16 gigs of RAM, 3200 megahertz, uh, 30, I think I got a 3700X. I don't know, all the specs, like I said, were, were on the screen, so uh, you'll, you'll figure it out. And for my gaming PC, um, I don't wanna bore you with the specs, so I'll just put them on the screen. I built this one myself around two months before I got this one, and it's the same exact case. So I can open it up right here, even though that's, that's, that's in the way. You know, you can just look at it, it looks dope. So something that I did is um, the desks, is it's an Ikea Girton uh, desktop or tabletop with uh, a dill legs. And then what I did was I want, normally it's just like this, right? It's the 60 inch desk, but I got another one and then I took it to Home Depot and had them cut it around the 40 inch mark. And then I just combined the two and I used the Alex drawers, which is in the center as like a little divider so I can hide most of the cables back there. I have a huge power strip back there as well. So like everything plus plugs in to that and you can't really see it. And then I have my, uh, I, what is it called? It's called the Go XLR Mixer. I tried that thing out. Um, it didn't really serve any additional purpose, but it, it also wasn't worth it for me to switch back to what I was using. Uh, so I just use it and it pretty much routes everything I use into my headset, which I don't remember the model name of, but I'm sure I'll put it on the screen. And um, so I got audio from my streaming PC, my gaming PC, and then my uh, my Nintendo Switch. So I just have like an MP3 cable that plugs into my monitor when I play the Switch and it will give me audio for it through the mixer. And also, uh, just because it's on top of my gaming PC, I have the Oculus Rift S virtual reality headset and I don't get a lot of time to use it because I don't have, I mean, trust me, this is a big room, but I don't have like a whole lot of space to move around. 
Um, but it's super cool, like especially the first time you try it. The TV is a 55 inch 4K Samsung. Um, I'll put like the exact model number on the screen. Everything will be on the screen. Um, and then the sound system, I don't remember the model name once again, uh, but there's a sound bar. And then down here is the subwoofer, which kind of serves two purposes. One, it's the subwoofer and two, it hides a lot of cables, especially cause no one really is gonna look from here. Cause this is where my chair usually is. Uh, so like it, it makes it so you can see even less of the of the cables and all that. For my keyboard, it is a GK65 keyboard, which took like a month to get here from China. Uh, it was around like 140 bucks, just because like the, it's made of, I think it's aluminum. It's like really heavy, really, really well built overall keyboard. It's kind of like this weird 65% thing. The shift is a little bit smaller, um, but unlike most 60%, it has arrow keys and a delete button, which is real nice. And then it connects to my gaming PC through this aviator cable. So it's a coiled USB type C that goes into the aviator connector. And then it goes all the way around uh, just a USB A into my gaming PC. So that took like a month. Both of those took like a month because this you have to like fill out a Google form for it. It's just like a guy that does it. Um, so that took a while. And then this came from China. China's been going through some stuff recently. So it took a little bit longer than uh, than usual. And then for my mouse, this is the pink G Pro wireless that I've had for like seven months now. Um, so I'm just gonna keep using it until it, uh, until it just gets too crusty to use. Speaking of crusty, my mouse pad. It is the glorious triple XL mouse pad. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I like the overall size and there's not really any other great materials or, or like mouse pads from, from good materials that are this size. And on top of that, my monitor mount is actually clamped onto the, uh, the mouse pad. And I route the Elgato Stream Deck cable through a hole that I drilled down here. So uh, yeah, so if I wanted to swap mouse pads, it would, be, it would be quite the task. And then I just have a little lamp in the back that I would use for streaming. I don't really use it much at all because I just never stream, but it is there and it, and it does work. And then behind, I don't remember the name of these monitor mounts. I'll try to find them, but I bought them a few years ago. Um, behind this monitor is my Nintendo Switch, which is plugged into this monitor in case I ever want to play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It has some of the best online experiences that you could possibly imagine. No lag, zero latency. Oh, it's so nice. The main monitor that I play on is a 240 Hertz, 24 inch BenQ or Zowie, I guess as they, as they now go by for their gaming stuff. And then on the right is another 24 inch BenQ, but this one is 144 Hertz. So this was like my main one before. And then when I upgraded it to 240, it just became my second monitor. The camera is a Panasonic HCV 770, I think. And um, it's connected to this nice little camera arm. Like a lot of the, the mounts that I found were really cheapo, but I found this thing and it was a little bit expensive but it's really nice. And then I just have all the cables for it uh, sleeved in this sleeving material. For the microphone, which I'm sure a few of you are curious about if you have your own YouTube channels, uh, is the Shure SM7B that goes into a Triton preamp, goes down through the XLR cable on the Rode PSA1 uh, mic or microphone mount, mic arm, uh, and then it just goes underneath and then connects to my Q802 Behringer mixer. And then that just goes down there into my streaming and edi editing PC. And that is the mic that you hear in all of my videos. For internet, the router isn't in my room. So there's two ethernet cables that come in. One goes directly into my gaming PC. The other one goes into this gigabit switch, which then distributes the internet or an internet connection uh, so I can play wired on my Switch and so that my streaming and editing PC can be wired as well. And then for kind of like the cable management, it's falling apart. Ugh, falling apart a little bit, but um, this is where my, cause I got a better keyboard cable now and I want to, cause it's like mainly aesthetic, the red coiled one. I just let it out. But normally like I had my keyboard cable and the stream deck going through a hole in my mouse pad down through this hole and then out to whatever it's connected to. Um, and then I have another power strip right here that I have like a few things plugged into. I think like one monitor, a switch and something else. And then these speakers <laughs> I used to use when, uh, when my girlfriend would come over and we'd have like a movie night this was before i had a tv we'd actually just pull the bed up all the way in front of this desk and just watch movies or whatever on my monitor and i'd i'd, uh, I'd use these speakers so i had it set up so like anytime i had something open in a web browser instead of it going to my headphones it would just go through these speakers and this this desk is a few years old it's been through a few different cable management systems so there's a lot of excess uh double-sided tape and then i have an led strip that uh, i just don't have enough ports for in my um in my power strip so i never really turn it on 
one. And if you're curious of how the camera connects to the computer, uh, it's just a mic, I think it's a micro HDMI or mini HDMI uh, that just gets routed to the uh, recording computer. So that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. And if you did enjoy this video, the best way of supporting it is by dropping a like, especially on videos like this that aren't just destiny related. Um, it really does help a lot. Also, don't forget to click the bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos in the future. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.